Title, Apple Car Exec in the Legal Jam, Former Canoe CEO's Wild Revenue Projections Land him in a lawsuit with the SECTL, DR, the former CEO of Canoe, Ulrich Kranz, who's now cruising with Apple, is stuck in a lawsuit filed by the SEC. Kranz and ex-CFO Paul Bultunas are accused of giving some quite optimistic revenue projections. Canoe in hot water. Let's dive in. Canoe, canoe, can you handle the truth? Ulrich Kranz, the former CEO of Canoe and current Apple Car executive, must be asking himself a variation of this question as he finds himself in a lawsuit brought by the SEC. The charges. He and former Canoe CFO Paul Bultunas allegedly gave investors revenue projections that make your Uncle Bob's fishing stories seem plausible. Legal trouble brewing. According to the SEC, Kranz and Bultunas told investors that Canoe would rake in $120 million in 2021 and a whopping $250 million in 2022. Now, even to someone who isn't a Wall Street shark, these numbers might seem a bit far-fetched. Were they simply electrifyingly optimistic? Or did they knowingly mislead the crowd? Apple Connection Kranz joined Apple in 2021, throwing his hat in the ring to help create its own electric car. His experience includes helping BMW launch its electric i3 hatchback and joining, and later leaving, Faraday Future. But can Apple keep its shiny reputation unscathed with a legal battle brewing? Stacking up issues While Kranz has long left Canoe behind, this lawsuit adds more fuel to the fire of issues the startup is facing. When does a growing pile of challenges become a mountain? Or has Canoe already hit the rocky terrain? Digging deeper this legal battle opens up questions around corporate transparency, leadership ethics, and the responsibilities of top executives in startups. Were Kranz and Bultunas a tad too bullish, or did they knowingly steer into dangerous territory? Final thoughts and the big question. With this latest hiccup, one must ponder the path forward not only for Kranz but for Canoe and the ever-growing and glamorous EV market. As the legal battle unfolds, will this be a mere speed bump or a full-blown roadblock? And here's the big question to chew on, in an industry racing to innovate and conquer markets, where do we draw the line between ambitious forecasting and unrealistic promises? Could this case signal a wider need for scrutiny in the electric vehicle sector? Disclaimer, this article does not contain any investment or legal advice, and the thoughts presented are not those of turned-up news. Always consult with a professional for personalized guidance.